This video has nothing to really do with this. A crossover, an all electric one, but it has everything to do with this. An all electric little tiny scooter. This is the Honda Moto Compacto. Weighs over 40 pounds. It's an accessory that you can buy directly from Honda. And in this video, I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna ride it. Then I'm going to take it down and I'm hopefully not going to crash in between. It is capable of hauling my weight, <laughs> I hope. So yeah, check it out. This is gonna be a fun video. Now, I already put this down. There we go. That's the kickstand. They did briefly show me. However, I'm the guy who would get frustrated by watching my kids put together Legos. So, let's try to figure this thing out. I believe, yep, so there's a button back here and it actually says push. So I push that down and this comes out like so. Yeah. And I'm going to pull these pegs out um, later. I'm going to pull them out later. So this is the wheel release. I think you pull this and twist or something. Oh, there we go. And then this. Whoa. I already got half a scooter. Okay, now we'll close that. And then from here, let's see, we got a seat. I can't believe I'm gonna put my massive butt on this. All right, there's that. That pops open easily. And then I think this locks up here and down like that. All right, and then I put this in there, woohoo. Okay, we're doing it, we're getting there. And then, okay, this is gonna be a challenge. I think there's a button here that releases this. Uh-huh, and then I think I hold this. Oh wait, no, I release this and I hold this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this, I am almost there. Case and Alex would be so proud of me right now. They'd be like, old man, that's okay, oops. They would be proud of me except for this. I did something wrong, but I'm almost there. And, oh, that's why, because I didn't lock this. There we go, that's locked. Yeah. That's right, guys, I built this scooter all by myself. No, I didn't. Uh, but I gotta say, I think she's ready to, oh, to ride, except um, <clears throat> the pegs, which I will figure out in a moment. I don't need pegs because my feet are really large. I'm gonna figure out the pegs in just a minute, but I had everything else, I figured it all out. So it's not impossible. If an ape like me can mostly do it, so can you. All right, so I've just learned the trick of the pegs. What you do is you pinch it, nice, and you give it a little pull upwards. If you use brute force, which is all I do, it won't work. But if you're nice and smooth with it, nice little pinch up, da-da, there's the peg. According to Honda, the Moto Compacto has a price of $995. Maximum range is 12 miles. Maximum speed is 15 miles per hour. Zero to 15 miles per hour is seven seconds. And the Moto Compacto has a maximum weight of 265 pounds permissible. We at TFL are always about safety. Expect traffic delays and restrictions. Which of course means wearing a head condom. I do not recommend using your teeth for this. But this is essentially because I have to wear a helmet. Because you guys like it when I look absolutely the most ridiculous. Actually, this thing is badass. It makes it look hardcore. That's what it is. I'm in California anyway. I'm actually required to look cool and angry, which is exactly what you want to be looking like on this. Uh, the scooter's maximum weight limit is 265 pounds. I weigh 260. I was just at the doctor's office. Actually, it's just over there. I was like 260.1. 
me make sure I'm doing this right. It goes there, it goes there. Oh, I see what I was doing wrong. Everything. Okay. Helmet back on. You gotta say I look pretty jazzy, right guys? There it goes. Okay. There's a button on the top. That's it. There's just one button. See how there's a number one down there? That means that's kind of kick to go. And then if you go to two, there we go. That means it's just ready to go right off the line. There's no way to gracefully do it, so I'm just gonna do it. So kickstand's gonna come in. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna go around the fountain and try not to run over that poor guy in the safety outfit. Well, look at this. Who needs a Harley when you have something like this? Actually, control's not as bad as I thought. Now, here's an interesting point about this. This little guy is front wheel drive. So like a majority of Honda products that are out there, front wheel drive comes standard. Yeah. Now, if a large panda bear like me can go on one of these and drive it around, well, I think you know what I was about to say. Anybody can. Oh wait, there's something important here that I forgot. That's huge. I completely forgot that. There are the controls here, which I don't fully understand. There's like a way to turn on the headlights and stuff like that. I think it's a quick tap. Yep, there we go. So that's the headlight. Now, if you recall, we have TFL bike. TFL bike, we do scooters, we do motorcycles, and we being Alex and Case for the most part, they're the guys around that. In fact, they'd be really proud of me for riding one of these. Now, it's an Alex and Case combined that actually makes up one of me in terms of weight. So I'm sure that they'll appreciate the fact that my large patootie is actually on this thing and making it move. More importantly though, on TFL Bike, we feature vehicles like this, including this one, and we have a video where we take one of these and we compare it to its grandfather. So you should stay tuned for that. I am gonna ride off into the sunset if I can manage not to kill anybody. By the way, Honda wanted me to ride out here so I wouldn't run over anybody. California liability for smacking into people when you're overweight, it's very expensive. Apparently Gavin Newsom has the thing about that. I'm kidding.